I'm Dr. Rod Taylor. I'm the co-founder of Low Carb Down Under and the convener of the Low Carb Conferences held in Colorado every year for the last five years. And I'm here at Low Carb Denver 2020. And I'm talking with Raphael Sertoli, who's a PhD candidate from France. Raphael, tell us about you, where you're from, and what you're doing and what you're studying. Thanks for having me, Rob. Uh, I'm Raphael Sertoli. Uh, I'm from France originally, and uh, I'm a PhD candidate in health sciences. I'm working in uh, Portugal, and I'm looking at mental health and the side effects of antipsychotics in a rodent model of uh, schizophrenia. My real passion and interest is actually in uh, nutrition and metabolism, and for that reason, I built the food tracking app Nutrita Pro. Mm. So how did you get into low carb in the first place? Like so many people, it was uh, reading uh, Gary Taubes' book, Good Calories, Bad Calories, uh, at a time where I wasn't very, uh, very much in love with my studies in business and management. And for that reason, I really uh, fell in love with the subject of uh, nutrition, both the science, the history, and uh, I saw that it was a great way to help people make healthier choices. Um, I'd seen you know, people in my family have to struggle with uh, health conditions, whether that's diabetes or, or mental health issues. And I thought that uh, an app would be a great way to give people something to focus on, especially if we could depart from the typical uh, calorie-centric model of fat loss and um, uh, trying to give some better scores for people to make some healthier choices, uh, mm -hmm. whether that's for the average user mm -hmm. or a health coach, a doctor, uh, yeah. So what does your app involve? So Nutrita Pro is a web app that you can just sign up on uh, on our website, Nutrita.app, and you start off by selecting a goal. So that can be fat loss, uh, eating a nutrient-dense diet, gaining muscle, controlling your blood sugars, and then we can give you some recommended macros based on the body composition uh, parameters you gave us, like body weight and activity level. And we'll give you uh, some uh, macros that are generally low carb. And we let you um, uh, try to f hit a carb limit and a protein target. And we don't really hyper-focus on calories because we don't think that's the most accurate way to, to uh, guide your, your diet. And yeah, we try to get you to focus on quality, like uh, nutrient completeness and the amino acid profile of your diet, making sure you have high quality protein. At the same time, we're fastidious about helping people avoid the junk food triad of uh, flour, sugar, and uh, high omega-6 seed oils. And uh, as long as everyone can, can follow those guidelines, I think there's a, a dietary pattern that will suit uh, everyone, irrespective of their goal. And um, yeah, putting the focus on nutrient density is a, is, a, is a very important thing for us because we think that that'll solve a lot of health issues for people and make diets sustainable. Mm. Which, which foods are good for nutrient density? It, it's typically animal foods. Um, animal source foods are, are really nutrient dense. They contain the essential macronutrients and micronutrients that we need. Uh, Plants are also nutrient dense, but the, a lot of the minerals and vitamins aren't as bioavailable. The uh, amino acid profile, so the protein quality, is uh, le leaves something to be desired. So that's why we have a pretty generous protein target for people um, to make sure that they really get this full spectrum of vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, uh, amino acids. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's a, a better way for them to, to hit all of that than having a calorie-centric model. Yeah. So what sort of carbohydrate limits do you advocate mm -hmm. on your app? People start off anywhere between uh, 30 to uh, 100 grams of carbs. So it's between ketogenic and low carb. And we're not too worried about exactly their, their level of ketones. We, we let them adjust the carb limit. We have a slider that they can use. And same thing for, for protein. We think that being low carb is going to allow the most number of people to find a diet that works for them. 
uh, the more athletic they are, they might have um, more leeway in the carbohydrates they add, especially if they take some basics into account, like avoiding flour and sugar, then they're more able to handle maybe some potatoes, some, some rice. Um, but yeah, the, the low carb area seems to be more, more fruitful for getting people to stay on the diet long term. Excellent. Now, when people are doing your app, do they feed back to you? Do yeah. you find out how they are traveling and, and how do you respond? Right, so they're, they're always uh, free to contact us and we have a free one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, video uh, encounter basically, a video consultation for every new user who signs up. They can speak to <clears throat> one of our in-house experts and get some advice on how to navigate not only the app but the general dietary change they're doing. Um, but for the user, even without interfacing with us, they can take a look at their dashboard in the app, which will summarize their progress towards their macronutrient targets in the day. And you know, they, they themselves can keep a track of their insulin load if they're diabetic or overweight and, and know that it's important to keep a relatively low insulin load. So they can keep an eye on important metrics themselves. Yeah. But we know that support is key on all of that, and if they're working with a coach or a doctor, that's even better. They can show them the information and, uh, and ask for feedback, basically. Mm -hmm. And have you got any good patient stories or client stories of yeah. people feeding back to you how the app has worked for them? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. We've had, um, we've had someone who, who was already someone who was already tracking and someone who had some uh, uh, a heart condition and a diabetic uh, a profile essentially and and the the app really uh, helped him rein in uh, a lot of the different variables that can sometimes overwhelm people uh, how am i controlling my calorie intake while staying under my carb limit whilst keeping a nutrient dense diet that's that's a lot to ask of someone maybe uh, who hasn't uh, who has no formal training for example and I think the, the app gave him the, the ability to really sort of, you know, control his blood sugars better, um, have all the blood markers for, for his heart condition improve. And, you know, that was something he was already uh, doing, but the app made it more convenient. Mm. And I think, yeah, it's as much support as we can give people in that sense, it's the better. Mm. Um, in France, uh, is there much talk about low carb? It's uh, starting to, to arrive slowly. They're, they're lagging behind the US in that respect, like, like many Euro European countries do in terms of those dietary trends. But uh, no, the French actually uh, really, the French diet really lends itself to a ketogenic diet because a lot of the traditional really rich, tasty foods are, are very high in fat. And uh, of course, you know, charcuterie and, and full fat raw cheese is really prized in France. So it's, it's easy to be a, a keto in, in France or, or just low carb. So it's, it's starting to arrive there, but there's a, still a bit of a knowledge gap to fill in that sense. Raphael, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Rob.